Hello, I'm Josh. And I'm Cam. And we are... Vapes and Bakes. Hello, and welcome to our next episode of Vaping and Baking. Um, today we are bringing you uh, Strawberg by Iceberg and some delicious homemade scones. Bum, ba, da, bum, and these are done the correct way, as you can see here. It's the, it's the Devonshire way, you put cream on and then jam um, for all the infidels that are out there. Um, if you do it the other way, you're wrong. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Yeah, you can leave now, it's fine. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> um, we know we're not going to be friends. Um, no, all jokes aside. Um, Eat them however you want, it really doesn't mm. matter, as long as they're tasty. And these are pretty tasty. So these are actually gluten free. Um, these were made using a BBC Good Food res uh, recipe, and we'll um, post that in the link below um, so that you can have a go at making them yourself. The secret is buttermilk, apparently, um, actually. Which is, is that right? Yeah, it works so so well. It makes them really light and really fluffy as well, <laughs> which is cool. But um, you can feel it; they're they're super light. They're scales. They are. They're not dense scales. No, scones. they're not at all. And just cutting into them, they're really nice as well, and mm. they maintain their structure very very well. Um, so this week we we've kind of been staying away from talking about the whole vaping stuff going on in America at the moment with. Um, sort of the six different teens who have died um, but sort of seeing more and more coming out we wanted to wade in because um, it's really quite crap um, how sort of the six deaths that have come out are now causing so much fear to be spread amongst people um, and actually vaping is one of the most successful smoking cessation methods um, and for me personally it's worked great um, before I quit smoking, I had tried patches, I'd tried um, lozenges, mm -hmm. gum, and the inhalers. Um, the patches, cold turkey, cold turkey, yeah, that, that did not work it's well. Horrible. But like the patches, it just didn't work for me because I'd still be craving kind of emotion, like the physicality yeah, of it. Yeah, you want to be able to kind of puff on yeah. something. It's, and then, it's like a dummy almost for a yeah, baby, yeah. you know? Like... And with the lozenges, the little inhaler, and the gum, it just tastes of pepper. It's like literally Isn't eating it? pepper and it hurts. It just kills your throat. Um, and so they're not fun at all. Um, but yeah, so like these, these six deaths that have happened, um, obviously it's tragic, people dying. It, it's people it's dying really, always is tragic, know, but you know, the, they're now threatening, the ones who have sort of been injured by it and not died they're now sort of threatening to sue various vape companies which i mean one you know they were saying about the the company jewel i you know i i don't really know anything about that company but one of the things mm. they were saying was that they they kind of specifically market towards kind of teens and that's tricky because you are you are treading on kind of dangerous territory there you know especially if you're marketing at people that don't necessarily already smoke um and I think the kind of one thing that we'd like to stress maybe mm. is that if you don't already smoke cigarettes don't or have some vaping. addiction to nicotine, don't you don't need to start vaping. You know, it's an interesting thing, but it should be a tool rather than um, a kind yeah. of permanent kind of yeah, occupation. Yeah. You know, yeah, for sure. Um, and actually, yeah, like Cam said, if if you don't smoke, just stay away from it because it's you don't need it um, and it's a bit pointless. Um, but yeah, and actually reading up more um, about it, sort of the, the reason why these people have been injured or, or died from it is because actually they were buying um, dodgy, illicit, back alley... THC cartridges. Yeah, THC cartridges which were filled with oils, different chemical additives, things like um, vitamin E acetate, and all of those things are not designed to be aerosolized and inhaled. Um, they are well known for causing respiratory distress and respiratory damage. Um, and then sort of looking into it further, the, the other interesting thing about it, sort of you're getting all the, the Daily Mail, the Sun um, and the Telegraph, stuff like that all jumping on the fear, um, which where I'm living in Devon, um, with, with, 
the older people sort of making up our predominant population um, it's one of the sort of most read outlets in this part of the country mm. um, and so they've got a real good audience to be spreading fear to um, and and whilst you know everyone loves a good headline it doesn't necessarily help the world you know yeah. like if you're yeah okay if if it was directly to you know registered um, double checked T uh, not THC vape cartridges and vape juices then there's then that, that's the time to start investigating that but it's not and what's happening mm. is it's all of this fear is being misdirected towards trying to prevent the wrong thing like we do you know there need to be regulations in place especially in in kind of places where things like THC is a legal thing mm. you know and and one of the things I was reading about the other day it was saying that in America, the, the, the regulations on, on vaping juices are actually way looser than in the UK. Um, and, and, and they're really, really tight on it. So if you're buying juices from shops in the UK that have some kind of registration, some kind of registered company attached to them, or some kind of testing qualification, yeah. which all vape juices will have if they are sold legally, you're, you're going to be okay. You know, like... There may be longer term effects. We don't know this because we're still within the first 15 years of people yeah. vaping. And the short term effects, they seem to be massive in comparison to to cigarettes. Mm. You know, like, I don't know if any of you have ever watched kind of videos on YouTube where they kind of pump a vape into the cotton wool balls and then they do the same with cigarettes. And and the visual difference, that, that has an it's impact huge. immediately. Because they're there to scrape in visible thick gunk out of these tubes and that have disgusting. had cigarettes and it's, it's yeah. horrible you know it's gross. and it makes you realize you know that's, that's what you're doing to your body if you're yeah. smoking and and i think having that visual reminder is really important and and yeah it can you know seeing the vaping equivalent of that being pretty clean really you know that can also maybe make you wade in and say okay well vaping is fine yeah. you know and and we've got to kind of proceed with kind of an air of caution in saying that we don't know what the long-term effects are. Really, your lungs should only be taking in pure oxygen. Yeah, that's what they're designed but for. But we also live in a world where we're not breathing pure oxygen anyway because no. of the amount of cars or cities and uh, factories pumping out things. And, like, so we're on kind of wobbly ground anyway. Mm. But this is a fantastic method to quit smoking. If you are using safe juices that have come from shops, in the UK especially, because they are so tight on the regulations... And sometimes that can be a bad thing, but I think in this situation, it's a really good thing, you know? Mm. There are a mad range of juices out there. It's not like you're kind of short for possibilities and chances, um, but they're safe. At least in, in the short term, we know they're safe. And that's kind of crucial to just make a kind of statement there. Um, obviously, if more information comes out that proves us wrong, it proves us wrong. And, and that's absolutely fine. But for the moment, we are advocates of vaping as a means to quit smoking, um, and yeah. And the really interesting, really, really interesting thing here, and it's really dodgy, is that actually when you sort of research into it further, um, you sort of find that actually in this last sort of week when um, Donald Trump has been threatening um, THC, ba uh, not THC bans, um, vaping flavored vaping yeah. bans that actually cigarette company stocks have have risen and you know that begs the question what's going on here yeah. because actually the biggest threat to big tobacco companies at in this present day and age is vaping so you know what's going on there what what's actually happening how is it that sort of six people have died in the 15 years that vaping has been out um, and now everyone's going absolutely mental and tobacco stocks on the rise when actually you think about the hundreds of thousands of people I mean well millions of people that are dying constantly from, from smoking cigarettes yeah and nobody bats an eyelid um, and it's really quite awful and actually sort of you're seeing that Donald Trump is saying that the issue here is that youth are um, starting vaping at an early age before they should be, before the age of 18 or 21 or whatever their, their law is over there. But actually it's really well known that a lot of kids 
start they start smoking they try their yeah, first cigarettes before cigarettes. the legal age yeah, that's it. and the first thing that they're trying is menthol cigarettes so why is trump not throwing in menthol cigarettes with this with this ban this ban that's it that's it you know and i suppose it could be because it kind of drives something that allows people to get behind yeah okay let's stop the kids vaping that's good mm. you know i like we're not in favor of of people picking up anything to smoke if they haven't done it already you know if you're not already hooked by the kind of the nicotine god that rides above us but like <laughs> you know but if you attack it from the wrong direction i guess you know i think it's it's quite clear that if if tobacco stocks are on the rise because of this it's not a good thing no and that's where we where something really needs to be done, something really needs to be addressed. Tighter regulations? Bang on! Do it! Yeah. You know? But just banning altogether flavours? I don't think it works. No. You're, you're attacking the wrong part of the hydro, mm. I suppose. Um, um, but moving on to a slightly more positive note. Anyway, now we've done that, we've yeah. said our bit, uh, and we've got straight in there. Let's Feel free to comment, say anything you like, yeah. disagree with us, you know, like, let's, let's push this debate and let's get talking about it, it's important. Because we don't mind people disagreeing with us, no, that's what... Right. That's the the wonders of being able to speak your mind, um, and that's really great. So if you don't agree with us, comment below. If you do agree with us, then tell us what you think. Share your thoughts down below in the in the comment section. Before we do move on quickly, I'd just like to say something. Last week in our episode, um, we tried CBD gummies and we vaped some CBD oil. And the thing we want to make clear is that this is legal UK registered CBD oil. So it has been checked, it is safe to smoke, um, or to eat, you know, to consume. Um, and, and we only just... in the right context, in the sense that they have to be produced for vaping. Yeah. They, you can't be just getting any sort of CBD oil no. and whacking it in your vape. Do not because... put a normal oil in your vape. No. Bad shout. That's a very bad shout. Um, but yeah, so now now we've done that, let's let's move on, let's try these scones, let's, let's do some vaping. Let's vape! And eat some cake. Alright. So, um, yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. That is so good. They're so light. Mmm. That's incredible. And I, I love, I, what I really, I love scones. Good cream tea afternoon. That is that's where mm. I'm, where I'm going to be living life. Um, and you've got the sweetness of the jam offsetting with the smoothness of the cream um, and the and the cake and the scone. It's just so good. Delicious. Mm. All right. So that is delicious. You know, you've mm. got a lovely kind of very simple pastry with the kind of fruitiness of the jam and and these are so easy to make. They, the they, they took me about 10 minutes, mm. if that, to put together, and then you stick them in the oven, bish bash bon, you're bosh, you're done. Mm. And it's really, really simple and easy, so make sure if you want some sca great scones, follow the recipe down below. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, let's go back to the juice yeah. we've got with these today. So, this the the Strawberg by Iceberg, and it says that it's a strawberry, kiwi, and menthol flavour. Um, which I'm quite intrigued by, um, because I thought the strawberry will go really, really well with this, with the strawberry jam, and then I kind of thought that the kiwi might might sort of offset it a little bit. Mm. But Maybe, I'm more I suppose it's, about... the kiwi's kind of tart, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to go, Ooh, let's bring it back. So, should we load up with a bit of that? Yeah, let's load up with a bit of that. And you've got a new device as well, haven't you? I, I, well, I do have a new device. Thank, thanks to the amazing guys at Vape Heads in Exeter, who, if ever you're swinging, you're in Exeter and you need some vaping supplies, swing down to them um, and say hi, because they're, lo they're lovely dudes. They're, you know? they're amazing in there. Yeah, and they're really they'll fantastic. sort you out. They're not like a lot of vape companies out there where if you're quitting smoking and you go in, they're going to try and sort of palm off their 60, you, you know. 60 odd quid or 80 odd quid device. They're gonna, they're gonna give you the perfect entry level device. Yeah. They're gonna really tailor everything to your needs. They're gonna ask you lots of questions about how much you smoke currently. Yeah. Um, and they're just, their knowledge is amazing. It's, it's really great. Um, it really is. It kind of, and their, their energy for helping people to quit smoking is mind blowing. Yeah. It is absolutely mind blowing. And so you've got the, um, it's an RTA. It's the Recurve Mini. 
It's the Recurve Mini. So it's a um, a dropper, dripper. Yeah. And I've got a, a squonk pin in there as well, so that I can use my squonk with my CBD Peng OG Kush that I got from um, Vape Dummy. Vape Dummy last week. So it's Cam loves the CBD oil. I, I'm a big fan of it. Um, I I find it a bit weird. Mm. I tried it and it, it tastes a bit weird, so I personally won't be won't be trying that um, that regularly. Um, but yeah, let's 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 give this a go. Cheers. Right. So what have we got coming through there? I mean, I know that strawberry hits you immediately. Yeah, that's that's but... there immediately. And there is a slight, obviously, by the name iceberg. There, there's a slight cooling there as well. There is, yeah, there's definitely, and that, those cooling agents can be really lovely as well. Mm. You know, they they kind of again, I suppose it links back to our whole idea of menthol cigarettes and things like that that freshen your breath as you're smoking or something like that. Mm. Um, but my the kiwi is a very subtle flavour, and that's nice. That's it's, really. It's just it's just on the back. It's at the mm. end of the taste as it's kind of rolling off your tongue. Mm. You just get this little sharp click, which I think like it's, it's the, pretty much the same as the scone. As it goes, because um, you, I, th I think you get that a little bit from the mixture of the cream and the jam together. You get yeah, this yeah, a little bit of tartness riding through after the sweetness, mm. which is gorgeous. The only thing I don't like about this is that menthol flavour. Um, now, I I've made my own um, e juices and stuff, and I usually use culada, um, but I don't like that that menthol. This, I, I it's, see, I it's quite like it. I think it's not too overwhelming. It's maybe a little bit chemically at the end. Yeah, there. that's um, that's my main gripe. And actually, if they used the culada instead of a menthol, then you get that icy hit without that menthol. If you like the menthol, then great. But mm, but not. I personally am not a big fan of it. Um, but I think it does. All the other flavors that are coming through are fantastic flavors. They're yeah. they're really great. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Um, I really rate that. What what do you reckon out of ten? Um, well, on the on the juice. Yeah. Um, I give it a six. Fair. I think it's nice. I'm again. I'm more a fan of kind of cakey, kind of mm. sugary flavors <laughs> <laughs> when I'm, it comes to vaping. I think I'm gonna give that a four. I think that's quite harsh. Uh, okay. No. No. But... No. Fair enough. Well, I think if you're put off by the menthol, that's yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. You know. Um, I, I could honestly quite happily smoke this in my vape as my day-to-day -day juice. Um, but I think it is. You know, maybe that my my kind of opinion of it is mm. also. Slightly curved by the fact that we're eating scones and jam and cream with it. To be it's just lovely, isn't it? It's, it's just good stuff. It's a very sophisticated gentlemanly afternoon. Um, so yeah, should we end? Should we end off there? Let's say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching again. Yeah, thank you. Um, and make sure to tune in for more episodes. Make sure to go down below, click the subscribe button, hit notifications so you know so you can keep up to date with us. Make sure to like, put some comments in below. We really want to hear your thoughts. Um, and once again, we are providing great bakes. And great bakes. See you next time. Catch you in a bit.